So this is a return duct on the ceiling. And I'm guessing that this is another panned in return where they're using a ceiling cavity as part of a duct. But you can see there's 90 degree air coming through that duct from the attic. So what I'm guessing they did was they probably put some kind of piece of sheet metal across the top of the ceiling joist above there and just closed the ceiling joist and didn't insulate or air seal very well over top of that. So it's making the duct a lot hotter than it should be in the summertime and a lot colder than it should be in the wintertime. And it's also allowing attic air to be drawn into that duct work year round. So that could definitely be fixed. It's accessible from the attic space. The other thing that I see above this closet area is a big section of uninsulated ceiling, but the whole top of this wall all the way across, I can see a lot of hot air. And so that'll definitely be something I tell the homeowner about. So again, in this room, I can see a lot of top plate leakage between the drywall and the framing, just getting above there with some silicone caulk or expandable foam and sealing that gap will solve that problem. I also see it over here. You've got another, this is called a chase where they use part of a wall cavity as part of the return duct system. Same thing's happening. I can see hot air from the attic getting into that chase from the top plates that surround it. So hot air is getting into that space right there. And then it's coming out through the duct right as on the face of it. The other thing that we have in this room is the attic access. Attic accesses are pretty notorious for being really, really leaky. And when you look at it with an infrared camera in the summertime like I am, it almost looks like flames shooting out from between the board and the trim. And that is hot air that's being sucked into the house while I'm using the blower door system. So if you think about this in reverse, the way the house naturally reacts is warm air rises up through the house and it leads through whatever gaps and cracks that we find. So when that attic access is not sealed or insulated well, it's a big point of air leakage and heat loss in the house. So it's really easy to fix actually. It just needs to be caulked and weather stripped and then insulated on the top side. But right now it's making this room a lot hotter than it needs to be in the summertime and a lot colder than it needs to be in the wintertime. 